morning guys so it is about 9:30. i've had my first treatment i just ordered breakfast this is going to take an hour to get here so yay to that um i'm still going with the iv but if i'm going to be here a while they're going to do a pick line and it sounds like i'm going to be here two weeks i was really holding on to hope that i could like get out friday and go to my lesson on saturday and um everything would be hunky-dory but that's not life so this morning did kind of just reaffirm that I did make the right decision last night um, just kind of as a proof you know I had the symptoms I had the all-night coughing I had the fevers I had the uh, lower O2 and all that which is what prompted me to come in but I hadn't done PFTs yet and my PFTs were 70% on October 12th and today they're 59% so that's not a drop that I really want um, I actually didn't expect them to be that low because um, I haven't felt like super out of breath with the horses or anything but um, they are 59% so that reaffirms that I made the right decision I've also lost five pounds um, so it was, it was the right call it was you know I'm 20 years in this body I know when it's having issues and uh, that's kind of what I felt like last night so it was the right call um, but yeah so don't think I have anything else to do right now for the morning so I'm probably gonna charge up my phone and re start reading either my Barbara book or continue on the flying book um, and then tomorrow my mom's gonna bring me the Miracle on the Hudson and the uh, survivors book so that's exciting um, it's basically gonna be a day of binge watching Hulu figuring out what the plan is and going from there so I'll keep you guys updated as I found out more but determined to try and make today as best as I can like yeah I'm sitting in a hospital room wishing I was at the horses although it's actually a really rainy gross day so I don't think I would have gone to the horses today anyway um but that's okay um because this is where I need to be so I'm gonna make the most of it Hey guys, so I am finishing up the last 10 minutes of my second treatment of the day. It's kind of torturous because my food is sitting over there on the counter and I can't eat it. Um, but yippee ki -yay, me. Um, so I've been trying to push to get a pick line because they said I'm going to be here about 10 to 14 days, which is typical. And um, usually I get a pick line and then I will have no problems usually from there on out I've had like 17 pick lines and they're always comfortable pain free I can you know I can just do whatever I want and I'm fine with them um but that has not been the case yet and my IV that I got last night in the ER has been really really painful like I've had IVs on this wrist before when I've had surgeries and when I was in the hospital in December it was actually in this exact same spot and I had no issues like it was a little sore but it, it was fine um, but this one, I cough, I even like move my thumb or my finger, lift up my hand in the air, like anything, and it sends shooting, shooting pain down my, down the empty site and my hand, so apparently I have to get another IV, yippee ki me, because uh, they already stuck me three times last night, but I'd rather get another IV and have it less painful than stick with this because I like literally my hand is just like frozen in this spot I can't move it or I get horrible pain but, so hopefully it'll just be a one and done get it in get it over with and not have to worry about it um we'll see what happens I don't know if she'll be able to still stick with my left arm I prefer that because I'm right handed but we'll see what happens so the update it's a cloudy rainy kind of day so it's actually not a bad day to be stuck indoors at least hey guys i'm gonna go ahead and say good night i just finished my third treatment of the day so i have one more but um yeah it's good and i can already tell i think my lungs are a little bit clearer than they were um at this time yesterday also in good news i did not have to get, end up getting a new iv because she uh it was just, it was pressing the way that they had it taped, so she just taped it differently. And now it's not hurting, I can move my hand and everything's great. 
so that was nice. Um, avoid a, a poke. Um, and just ordered dinner, so I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, I talked to the CF team too if they could coordinate with dental. Um, so I can get my tooth taken care of and I can eat a whole lot better and whatever I want really. And uh, they said that they could make that happen. So I don't know when that'll be, but then like tomorrow, that'd be awesome. But probably with, like within the next couple days, um, I can get this tooth taken care of and all that it will be gone. And that'll be nice to have just another problem ticked off the list. Um, so my mom is going to be up here any minute, but until she does, I'm going to keep reading this. I've read probably a third of it. It's not a very long book, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm not probably going to enjoy it as much when I get to the sad part, but right now it's all the happy stuff, so I'm enjoying it. And uh, I definitely have more energy. I think that's the main thing. I did take an hour nap, um, because sometimes the antibiotics will hit me hard, especially the Zosin. Um, the Tomorizin doesn't really do anything to me, but um, so I did take an hour long nap, but I feel more human and I think that's because I've had I only had one very low grade fever today and I didn't have anything else so I already seen steps in the right direction I did call I I, I put off canceling my lesson until uh, like the last possible minute but I was like I you know I probably need to call and cancel that because if somebody else wants that Saturday slot it's a good thing sorry my nurse walked in so I, uh, I canceled that, and she was very, you know, obviously understanding. I'm like, I'm in the hospital with pneumonia. I mean, what? I can't do anything about it. Um, and so got that taken care of, which was nice. Just don't really have to think about it at the moment. Um, and my mom's going to try and schedule me another lesson once I'm able to get out of here. So feeling a lot more positive than I was last night. Uh, I've had my moments today. I'm not, I'm human. I've had my moments, but overall I'm not as, like, I don't know. I'm a lot better tonight, uh, emotionally than I was last night, and I'm really thankful for that. So, now it's just the waiting game of getting my lungs to, uh, cooperate and heal themselves and get rid of the pneumonia and, uh, go from there. So, with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.